anime is not only full of main characters who hog the spotlight, but also ones who are heavily underestimated. You might think just because they seem weak or harmless, they aren't worth jack. However, we'll be counting down some underrated anime characters who are a lot more powerful than you thought. Before we begin, be sure to hit that red subscribe button and click that little bell to join the awesome Screen Rant notification squad so you never miss out on our exciting content. Giorno Giovanna JoJo's Bizarre Adventures is by far one of the most popular anime series due to its over-the-top humor, entertaining fight sequences, and its iconic dialogue. Within this anime world, disagreements or scuffles aren't solved with merely punches and kicks. Instead, stands are a powerful asset that allows the user to increase their physical strength, speed, agility, and other attributes. Although Jotaro Kujo and Joseph Joestar are typically hogging the spotlight within the early parts of the series, Giorno Giovanna possesses the gold experience Requiem, which allows him to move through stopped time and even give his aggressors an infinite death leap. Oof. Mew. Mew, the gentle-looking Declonius, may be sweet and innocent, but when she regained her memories, she transformed into the bloodthirsty, devil-horned Lucy from Elfin Lee. Through her vectors, telekinetic, invisible arms, she was able to effortlessly tear apart through armored personnel and block hundreds of bullets from harming her. Lucy may not be the strongest female character in anime, but people seem to overlook her, even though she could very well end humanity if she so wanted. Just make sure you aren't around little kids when watching Lucy's creative of ways to dismember people. Nagisa kun, dekiru ka? Na, nande Nagisa wa? Nagisa Shiota. Assassination Classroom entails a squid-like entity, Koro-sensei, who can move at beyond Mach 20 speeds. He not only decides to teach his students to ace their exams with ease, but also to sharpen their assassinating prowess. One of these students is the central character, Nagisa Shiota, who although looks feeble, his power may surprise you. He might not be the strongest boy in his class, but he does have the gift of embarrassing his opponents with his overwhelming intelligence. Nagisa was challenged by grown men who had much more experience in hand-to-hand -hand combat, yet Nagisa was able to win rather quickly. Don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> Aralei Toon Force characters are essentially a cheat code within any story due to their ability to use gags as a way to overwhelm their opponents with humor and ridiculous premises alike. Arale, one of Dr. Slump's creations, may look like a harmless little girl, but she sure packs a punch. Her iconic Earth Splitter allows her to literally split the Earth in half, only for it to be magically put back together in the next frame. Within her guest appearances in Dragon Ball Super, she made a laughing stock of Vegeta and even pushed Goku into using his Super Saiyan Blue stick. Eight. Talk about overpower. Gone. Gone is definitely another character who looks like a meek looking boy. He can definitely kick some serious butt. Even at a young age, he quickly learned several martial arts techniques that, like Nagisa, allowed him to overpower and even hold his own against adult fighters with vastly more experience. He can communicate with animals and can also forcefully age himself to reach adult like strength and stature alike, albeit only temporarily. Hopefully, Gone will become more powerful in the future, if the anime eventually returns. Meliodas. Meliodas from The Seven Deadly Sins might not be the strongest character in the series, but his skills and intense willpower have allowed him to get out of even the most dire situations alive. Well, most of the time. He can nullify abilities, bond his hellish weapons with supernatural fire, and can even develop characteristics like that of a dragon. Once he becomes enraged, he unleashes great levels of power to overwhelm his opponents, at the cost of not being able to think clearly. Regardless, he's not to be underestimated. Issei Haido Yes, who would have guessed that the iconic perverted Opai Dragon from High School DxD would find his way into this video? At first, Issei performed in the supernatural battlefield exactly like he looked. Pathetic. However, once he trained extensively with the members from the House of Gremory, he soon became one of the strongest devils around, since his power as the Red Dragon Emperor was to be feared. The main reason Issei is so strong is because of his love for breasts. So if one keeps those away from him, they could sneak in a victory. If not, expect a quick defeat. Whatever it takes to be a hero! 
That's why I'll give it my all! Just like you should be! Izuku Midoriya. All Might is definitely a top dog within My Hero Academia, a series which has recently obtained a large following, but the focus on the story is shifted towards Izuku, also known as Deku, a boy who seems to become the strongest hero of all time. Unfortunately, due to not possessing a quirk, the superpowers within My Hero Academia, he was bullied and constantly teased, until he trained non-stop and obtained great power. He might look scrawny, but the ace up his sleeve is undoubtedly one for all, which allows him to vastly increase his combat strength and speed at the cost of destroying his own body. Boros If you've seen One Punch Man, you'll definitely have an idea about how overpowered Saitama is, which unfortunately may cause people to overlook the other heroes or villains within the series. If any other hero like Genos or Tatsumaki stepped inside of Boros' ship, they would have no doubt gotten slapped around. But was Boros really that weak, or was Saitama just too strong? Even though Boros was able to kick the caped Baldi around to the point that even a guide and the manga itself revealed that Saitama took damage, he was still pushed into unleashing an energy attack powerful enough to possibly destroy the Earth, if not even a star. Time out! <laughs> Wait! You can't just start swinging at me first thing in the morning! I'm not even warmed up yet! Krillin one of Goku's best friends and a worthy ally to the Z Fighters, Krillin is given crap for not only getting owned, but also for dying repeatedly throughout the series. However, although he doesn't look like much, he trained hard for several years, and within the Tournament of Power, easily surpassed the power of Frieza from the Namek Saga. This is because he was able to hold his own against fighters who were walloping Android 18 around, even though she was powerful enough to make a laughingstock out of Super Saiyans. Next time you give Krillin a hard time, just remember that he is the strongest Longest human amongst overpowered aliens and deities. Let's team up! So, there you have it. What did you think of our list? Any other characters who fit the description of being underrated, despite them being overwhelmingly strong? Let us know in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to Screen Rant for more awesome content.